What's the crack lads? Welcome to your What's Coming Thursday a video, a preview that we do on Wednesday. And as we know, the Golden Goal and the Unlimited, the challenge events will be gone, as well as the AI events there as well. So co-op versus the AI and the European Club Tour event, they'll just be refreshed. Onto the cards, this is probably usually what most people want from this video, is to see what cards potentially could be coming. So all of these packs are going to be gone. The national team selection worldwide and European. And of course, you'll still have the nominating contracts in, but we will be losing out on the player of the weeks, the epics and the showtimes. So these phenomenal pass showtimes, your last chance to get those. I did get Simmons in one spin. If you want to see a review on him, smash that like button and let me know in the comments below. What could potentially be coming? Will we see a return of Fortress? We've had a brand new skill in Phenomenal Pass. Will we see, you know, Edge Crossing back? Will we see Game Changing Pass? Will we see something like that? I honestly feel that Fortress is due back, but I don't think it'll be with club players. I think it will be with players that are going to be playing for the national team and just roll it into that. Also, could we see new epics? There is a lot of new epics after being added, especially European themed ones and Euro 2024 ones or European uh, Euro events from, you know, back like previous Euro uh, competitions. There's a lot of themed events here that are probably going to happen with that. It just depends on when they bring it out. There's Raul, there's Rummy. And of course, I think that if Rummy comes out he needs to be a different type of player than he than he's already been released because when you're releasing three four of the same legend with different cards i think they need to really broaden it out and have a certain aspect of them that's going to make them you know usable because at the moment if you spin for one card and you get you know javi or iniesta you literally don't need to spin anymore for that card ever. Also, we could get a return of National Team Guardians. This pack was re-released um, before with Oliver Kahn. A lot of people missed out on this pack. It was one of the earlier booster packs that they released, obviously way back in uh, eFootball 2023. But Oliver Kahn is definitely, or eFootball 24, Oliver Kahn is definitely, or a goalkeeper is definitely due to come back as well. Or we could also see instead of, you know, old um, Nesta or old card, we could get Maldini, Puyol and Iker Casillas. These are brand new national team guardians as well. Again, keep them with that European team and obviously the Copa America team as well. Um, but yeah, let's see, man. Let's see. I feel at this stage now, obviously the gameplay and I'll let you know my thoughts on V3.6. You know, I've done two streams so far with V3.6. I think the gameplay is slightly better, but there is still issues that need to be ironed out big time for eFootball 20. 25 when that does come out so the cards are always going to be a part of that we do know one thing that's going to be coming and that is going to be the player of the week so this is the this is the final uh domestic league you know with the clubs we have a return to national teams for this so this is going to be the national teams from june 20th in the game which is tomorrow thursday june the 20th and it is going to be a national team player of the week so i produce i presume they're going to kind of stick to the Euros, um, maybe the Cup America as well, but I would usually say that they'll stick to the Euros, and it looks like we do have these three players that are going to be coming, so there isn't much details on this, it doesn't take long for people on Twitter to start, you know, doing it, um, and kind of like predicting what will come, and I'll show you this screen here uh, from CT Football, but I, I'll also throw in two cards that I think could come as well, potentially with two mock-ups I did at the end as well, but lads, honestly, what do you guys think of this release of the Player of the Weeks? Let me know in the comments below. These are the players that CTE Football is thinking could come. And obviously, this is kind of like, I, I agree with pretty much all of these. Um, I think we'll have a shake-up. Gakpo, they usually like to get in a player from every team. You know, it's not never usually that they'll release two players from one team. It's usually one player per team. Bellingham, Havertz, that's up in the air as well, I think. Uh, Kante, obviously, I think should come. Maybe Kante will get a, spe a special, uh, you know, card himself. Or maybe he'll be featured in one of the other packs. Maybe he'll be featured in one of the national team selections, which I think they'll bring out as well. Or else maybe Barella instead of Bastoni. They're the two that I think will come. But yeah, I think we're not going to get massive changes to this weekly recycling and this we weekly kind of reset uh, of players, cards, events, you know, changing every Thursday and Monday until eFootball 2025. But don't forget to subscribe to the channel, lads. Let me know if you enjoyed the video and let me know what you guys think of this current kind of delivery of content. And is it even content in your eyes, you know, with these cards and stuff? Let me know your honest thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you in the live stream tomorrow.